Let's dive into this intriguing tale of royal rebellion and strategic maneuvering. Picture this, Eduardo Mabelli Mazzi, also known as Beatrice's husband and a property tycoon, saunters into New York City for a blend of business and Instagram flaunting. His feed becomes a picturesque diary of the high life showcasing views that mere mortals can only dream of, including the breathtaking gaze over the Hudson from the Edge observation deck. Yes, real estate is indeed treating Edo well, and his travels are not just for the show. They entail globe-spanning meetings that make Monopoly look like child's play. Now, let's flip the page to where things take a spicy turn. In a blocked waist that would make Shakespeare toss his quill in envy, Prince Harry, our very own royal defector, decides to reach out. And no, he's not calling for a casual chat or a stroll down memory lane. He supposedly rings up Edo right as he lands in the concrete jungle. The mission? To quox Edo into swinging by their Montecito mansion for a little chat about PR experts in the UK. Because, as the world knows, Harry and Meghan are in desperate need of some brand CPR. But here's the kicker. Edo, in a move that screams, I'd rather want paint to dry, reportedly turns down the invitation. Can you blame him? The thought of being the middleman for the Sussexes and their quest to polish their tarnished image? That's a hard pass. Edo's got better things to do, like enjoying elite horse racing with royalty that does not spark controversy at every turn. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan are on the prowl for a miracle worker in the field of PR to salvage the wreckage that is their public image. But let's face it, finding a PR guru willing to take on this Herculean task is akin to searching for a needle in a haystack. Why? Because their brand is about as appealing as a cold cup of tea. Their popularity back in the UK is hanging by a thread, where a recent poll showing Harry barely registering as a blip on the radar of royal favorites and Meghan trailing even behind that. Carla Spade, a PR and crisis guru, does not mince worse. The PR world is essentially playing hot potato with a Sussex brand, and who can blame them? Their past attempts at self-promotion have been a masterclass in how not to do PR. There's been a touch too much American, speak your tooth, and not enough of the British stiff upper lip. The Sussex's advisor is seemingly more interested in cashing checks than providing sound counsel, have allowed them to veer off into the realm of TMI and tabloid folder. As for Meghan's grand plan to launch her brand alongside a Netflix showcase, let's just say the jury is out. Lynn Garrett of Press Box PR suggests that Meghan's venture needs more than just a sprinkle of royal dust to succeed. It needs authenticity and consistency, two qualities that, let's be honest, have not exactly been the Sussex's strong suit lately. So there you have it, folks. Another day, another drama in the saga of Harry and Meghan's quest for redemption. But as they say, all publicity is good publicity, right?